What's up fam? Welcome to 100% World of Warcraft guide for Proot Warriors. I know, it's a bold statement to say 100% guide, but this guide will help you not only in vanilla slash classic World of Warcraft or Season of uh, Discovery. I will go so deep to cover all expansions, but I'll focus mainly on vanilla World of Warcraft and Season of Discovery. I'll also make timestamps, so just click which part of the video you want to watch. I will cover add-ons, consumables, rotation, AoE tanking, tips, talents, my UI, weak auras, how to increase your threat, how to maintain your threat. So let's start with the most simple question. What's tank's role? Well, obviously focusing majority damage on themselves and reducing pressure on healers. When it comes to vanilla World of Warcraft, Warrior is your choice. On Horde side you will pick up Troll cause of Berserking, which is amazing for fast threat generator, or Tauren cause of increased stamina and plus 2 melee yards reach, which is also amazing. On Alliance side you will pick up Human cause of Sword and Mace skill increased. If you wanna play around with Edge Master gloves, then by all means pick whatever race you want. Just bear in mind that aged core leather gloves from Molten Core are better for dagger tank. Gauntlets of steadfast determination are good, but you won't find any weapon skill increasement on them. Gauntlets of annihilation dropped by Keytoon are best overall. Fury, Fury Prot, even Deep Prot. So, what's glancing blow in World of Warcraft? Glancing blows are combat events that can occur when fighting a mob more than three levels higher. These occur only on white damage and result in the attack having its damage reduced in proportion to the difference between the attacker's weapon skill, capped the attacker's level, and the target's defense skill. At current glancing blows occur at about 20% of the time versus mobs that are above your level. These attacks do only 75% of their normal damage versus a mob that is 3 levels above you. Bosses are counted as your level plus 3. Against mobs with a defensive roughly equal to or higher than your attack rating, uh, you will have a chance to land a glancing blow instead of a normal hit. A glancing blow only occurs on white melee damage and does less damage than a normal blow. If the attacker's weapon skill is less than his level, the damage reduction will be proportional to the difference between the attacker's weapon skill and the target's defense. This is why it's so important to have that weapon skill increased. The more weapon skill you have, the less chance for your white attacks to miss, which means you're dealing more damage, which means you need less hit. Can Druids, Paladins and Shamans tank in classic World of Warcraft? Well, Paladins and Shamans can't. But druids aren't that bad, but oh yes they are. Stick with the warriors. Warriors shine when it comes to threat, especially as a decently geared fury prot build, as well as due to their ability to parry and because of shield allows them to block. So you might start with dual wield at the beginning with the greater stone shield protection potion, and later on when you just build enough of threat then by all means smash that macro which I'll link in description down below and swap to shield to reduce pressure on healers. Blocking is crucial because as a warrior it allows you to avoid incoming critical strike, crushing blows or even parry haste. Right, so first of all what is threat and how does it work? To understand threat we will first discuss related term known as aggro. Having aggro on an enemy means that those enemies want to attack you as you have the highest amount of threat compared to others in your group. Threat is a numeric value that everyone not just a tank has during the fight. Threat can be attributed to one or all mobs as some abilities just add threat to the mob you are attacking, yep, even healing. Almost all abilities in the game generate some amount of threat, so knowing how abilities deal out threat for all roles, DPS and healers included, however, you as a tank want to have the most threat of all enemies in all circumstances. So how is threat generated? 
In most circumstances, abilities deal threat equal to the amount of damage that they do. So, if you do 200 damage to them, you also produce 200 threat to the mob or boss. However, there are many abilities that have different threat modifier which can be higher or lower than one or produce a fixed amount of threat. For example, defensive stance increase all threat by 1.3 times. Then we have defiance for example, heroic strike, revenge and the list goes on and on, making it easier to tank as a warrior. Threat follows two important rules. The first is that is additive throughout the course of combat. In other words, the threat keeps adding all the time. The other rule is that if there is uh, more than one threat modifier at work, the game multiplies them. As an example, let's use warrior and let's pretend that our warrior deals 200 damage. Is in defensive stance and has defined talent. In this circumstance, we will multiply 200 by defensive stance modifier and defense modifier. So if you multiply 200 by 1.3 from defensive stance and 1.15 from defense, we get a total of 290 threat. What I'd like to mention as well, critical strike don't add any bonus to your threat. So if you crit for 2k and there are no mana fighters at work, you only generate 2k of threat. So I'd like to add one more thing and I'll use warrior as an example as well. Okay, so the warrior uses heroic strike rank 8 to produce let's say 150 damage in both battle stance and defensive stance to highlight the two different modifiers. In battle stance the total threat is 269. After adding the damage 150, the static heroic strike threat bonus which is 185 and then Multiplying it by 0.8 in the defensive stance, for example, we do the same thing, but at the end we multiplying by 1.3 instead of 0.8 because the warrior is in the defensive stance. Now we produced 435.5 total threat by the attack, so my point is to highlight how much more threat we produce in defensive stance. Threat is also produced by healers as well as DPS. So it's a good practice to give a tank few seconds to build some threat when encounter starts. This depends how good your tank is as well uh, as uh, how geared he is. Is he wearing uh, mitigation gear or fury prod gear and the list goes on. Tanks will need to maximize their threat while others will need to monitor their threat closely. Just download Threat Meter, but I'll give you a list of all my add-ons. When it comes to rotation, make sure to always do a Sunder on first global cooldown. Sunders in fight that last longer than 5 to 8 seconds increases your DPS by almost 32 or 33%. I'm not 100% sure, but it's between those two digits, which is a lot. Right, so the tank rotation starts before the fight, actually. Start with dual wielding, pop greater stone shield potion or mighty rage potion if you are fighting a big boy, blood rage, then you are ready to go with that big blood thirst into heroic strike, into thunder armor and revenge. If you fight trash packs, cleave, demo shout, taunt, mocking blow, berserk rage and thunderclap are your best friends. But here is the catch guys. I noticed that almost 99.9 .9 warriors don't have heroic strike as a key bind on a mouse wheel up and cleave on a mouse wheel down. Or vice versa. Doesn't matter. Trust me, this is a game changer. Do not beat heroic strike and cleave on number 1. Do not beat them on number 5. Do not beat them on your dog's head, beat them on your mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down and by all means just roll that mouse wheel as of which ability you need. If it's a single target aka boss then it's a mouse wheel up for heroic strike, if it's a mouse wheel down it's for trash packs. This will help you a lot, both as a tank and as a fury warrior. Some other classes can do the same exact thing if they have the next melee hit ability aka cued melee attack. Alright, so let's repeat. Blood Rage, Mighty Rage Potion or Great Stone Shield Potion 
that wish ASAP. That wish will make you a bit squishy, but that's why you got greater stone shield potion on. If not, just tell your healers to focus up for next 30 seconds. You're also generating much more rage while death wish is active, which means more thunders, more heroic strikes, uh, more revenge and all that uh, good stuff. Then right after you prep up one of those two potions and blood rage smash that blood thirst uh, followed by heroic strikes, thunders and, uh, and revenge. And just repeat, I have an amazing V cover which is called warrior hood. Now, it's not 100% reliable, but it will get you up for sure. Other part of the rotation is monitoring your health bar. If you fall below 30 or 40% of health state, just equip your shield. Press shield block. If it gets worse, press last stand and or shield wall to stabilize the fight. Do not hesitate using last stand or shield wall, guys. Don't be that guy like, oh. I will leave it for a worse moment cause they have big cooldowns. If you feel like you really need to use it, then by all means, use it. So when it comes to AoE tanking, there's a bunch of ways to generate threat. One of them is a demoralizing shout. You have cleave, and even battle shout generates extra threat. And of course, thunderclap. But this results in a stance dance and eventually in a rage loss though. However, Thunderclap is amazing in Season of Discovery. Uh, then you have Taunt, uh, Mocking Blow, all those good stuff, yeah. Now if you are rage starving, you have a Berserker Rage uh, which lets you generate extra rage from taking damage. So make sure to pop Berserker Rage right before trial that you will encounter. Uh, get to Death Stance, uh, Demo Shout, uh, Cleave and all that good stuff, yeah. However, in order this to work, you need to have people above 90 IQ. Let's take for example one dungeon. Alright, we are going in Stratholm. You are with a rogue, a mage, a shaman and another warrior. So keep marking the ads. Everyone has job to do. Rogue for example is good for casters, cheap shot, kidney shot, kicks, etc. Mage is great for crowd control as well. Polymorphs, uh, Frost Nova, Cone of Cold, uh, etc, etc. Uh, your warrior, another warrior, is great to, to take over a little bit uh, because he, he wears plate uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this means you don't have to do everything by yourself. This isn't Wrath of the Lich King where Paladin takes 3105 uh, adds and uh, toss down Consecration and Shield Block and tanks them. It doesn't work that way here. However, warrior AoE tanking in Season of Discovery is much, much more improved. Also, guys that play Season of Discovery in this video, you could learn a bunch of stuff that you will need for endgame content. And uh, how I like to say, uh, Blizzard made this game uh, right only once, the first time they made it. Now, let's cover consumables. When it comes to consumables, it's good to know that our maximum number of consumables, I mean buffs, is 32. We cannot have more than that. If you already have 32 consumables or buffs, and if you try to pop 33rd, one of previous will disappear. Bear in mind that your weapon engines such as Crusader and Chant adds to your consumables, aka buff list, especially if you have both weapons enchanted or if you put a sharpening stone on any of your weapons. Elixir of Mungus, that's almost 3% crit, Juju Power and Juju Might, if you don't have Juju Power just use Elixir of Giants, it's close enough, keep in mind that Winterfall Fire War Elixir of Giants with Jujus are not stackable. So you gotta make your choice right there. For example, Firewater has 35 attack power and Juju Might has 40 attack power. It's not much, it's not, I mean, it's not big difference, but uh, yeah. If you want to mean max, by all means, go ahead. Okay, so, consumable list. Elixir of Mongoose. Juju Power slash Juju Might. Elixir of Giants. 
Flask of the Titans, Spirit of Zanza. Make sure to pre-pop one at the vendor and keep one in your inventory. Major's Troll Blood Potion. Elixir of greater agility if you can't afford Elixir of Mungus. Elixir of Fortitude. Greater Stone Shield Potion. Elixir of Superior Defense. Limited Invulnerability Potion when you want to do that massive AoE taunt in case something goes wrong and Gift of Arthas. Gift of Arthas is an amazing underrated consumable that almost everyone forgets to pop without realizing that whole raid does a lot more damage as long as Tank has Gift of Arthas. And finally, Mighty Rage Potion. There's not much to say about Mighty Rage Potion except that's game changer right there. Chug MRP, smash that death wish, Blood Thirst, Heroic Strike, Sunder Armor and up you go, the potion is amazing. When it comes to food, smoked desert dumplings if you want to go for strength. I'd go for uh, smoke, smoked desert dumplings uh, cause you want that strength. Uh, uh, there is also uh, stamina food but uh, uh, 25 stamina won't change anything you know while uh, 25 uh, strength uh, gives you 50 attack power. In case you didn't know, one uh, one strength uh, uh, one strength equals two attack power in uh, classic World of Warcraft and uh, seasonal discovery. Yeah, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Wow, uh, classic. Wow, call it how, however you want. Seasonal discovery as well. And then we have a dragon's breath chili just to increase the damage uh, a bit. Now, then sharpening stone or elemental sharpening stone. Elemental sharpening stone gives you two crit. Two critical strikes, which is like an extra ring or trinket. Drinks, Ramsey Room Black Label or Gordok Green Rock. You can get it in Dire Maul and it's much budget friendly compared to Ramsey Rum Black Label. I mean, we're talking about 5 stamina, it's a 50, 50 health, it won't save you for sure. So uh, go for uh, Gordok Green Rock. Of course, if you if you if you can afford uh, better things uh, then uh, afford better things but uh, 50 50 health uh, 50 health uh, doesn't uh, doesn't play doesn't play a big role when when end game content uh, comes you know what i mean okay uh time for some uh, weak hours and uh, when i say weak hours uh, guys uh, they will work uh, exactly the same in uh, season of discovery and uh, classic era and uh, i will see uh, if i can somehow uh, upload all my weak hours uh, so that uh, so that you can uh, you can download them okay so over here we have a warrior hood rotation helper this is amazing and must have a uh, weak aura for every single warrior uh, will you be fury will you be fury prot or deep prot uh, it's just a must have so uh, as you can see you have all kind of abilities over here even diamond flask you have even blessing of salvation you have all possible warrior spells to time them correctly as i said it's not 100 percent reliable but it will carry you a long way it's like 90 percent reliable just uh, just enough for you to uh, to experience uh, to come to that point that uh, that you no longer need a warrior hood you know what i mean this is outstanding for beginners and even even veterans uh, veteran warriors uh, if you if you know what i mean it's just uh, it's just a must have a uh, weak aura uh, next we have okay so over here this is something for uh, uh, aq40 uh, challenging shout countdown okay so uh, this is uh, this is a challenging uh, shout uh, countdown uh, so for example uh, if you do a, ch a challenging shout uh, uh, aoe uh, taunt uh, this will uh, this will tell the whole raid that you did uh, that you did uh, uh, challenging shout 
Next we have a really interesting Vicaura debuffs. So as you can see over here under my uh, portrait, we have a demoralizing shout, a thunderclap, uh, we also have a curses, uh, we also have thunder armors, etc, etc. So this is amazing to track debuffs on a boss or a mob that uh, that you are uh, dealing with, you know. This is this is not only for warriors, this is for all all classes over there. It's just amazing, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a must have uh, also rogue uh, over there I, i'm not sure what's the name of that uh, uh, rogue uh, ability to uh, to uh, make armor make a boss has less armor but uh, it's also over there next we have disarm tracker so uh, for example if you have a okay so for example you are a main tank and uh, then uh, you have uh, off tanks and you have other warriors dps warriors uh, so an npc uh, needs to be disarmed right so one of your warriors disarms the npc this is what you will get uh, an up uh, on your on your portrait that uh, the target is already disarmed so that you don't have to disarm it you know what i mean so that you don't have to waste uh, your disarm on 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 the same target if if you get the idea uh, this is only shareable if 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 a guy has uh, the same uh, weak uh, you know you know what i mean uh, so next we have a friendly uh, mind controlled and uh, stop aoe so over here we have a this is this is uh, for a classic era but uh, i have no doubt that it will be very 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 useful in end game season of discovery content so what this actually does uh, when a when a friendly player is mind controlled uh, you will start sh if you have this aura you will start shouting uh, that uh, he's uh, he's under uh, he, he's mind controlled you know and uh, he will become red on your on your raid frames you know what i mean so that you accidentally uh, don't kill them this is this is perfect for uh, zag zag warriors you know those those guys that uh, don't think too much uh, with their heads you know uh, you know what i mean so uh, get this uh, it will help you it will help you a lot um, next we have a lip plus aoe taunt raid tracker okay so for example uh, we have 15 warriors in raid uh, one of those warriors uh, do a lip plus aoe taunt what this aura does so this aura exactly tells you the name and uh, lip plus aoe uh, of a person uh, who did it uh, more than that, it also allows you to track uh, AOE uh, towns of uh, of warrior, so that you can uh, so that you can time them out uh, perfectly. If you know what I mean. So, for example, uh, warrior one, uh, you do now AOE lip. Uh, warrior three, you do now AOE lip. Uh, warrior four, oh, you are on cooldown. You know what I mean. Warrior six, do AOE lip, etc., uh, etc. Et this is amazing uh, for those uh, uh, situations that, uh, for some reason. Uh, uh something goes wrong you know and uh, and you just need that uh, aoe lip so over here we have a true 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 let me see perry haste now pay attention let's take uh, for example saffiron uh every single boss uh one uh, in front of every single boss almost every single boss in uh in world of warcraft at least when it comes to classic era and uh, season of discovery he has 180 degrees in front of him which can be parry hasted what's a parry haste if you as a dps warrior stand in that 180 degrees red circle and if you keep dpsing the boss there is a chance that you might get parry haste which is 100 percent kill on main tank which is a wipe but what this aura what this aura helps you with uh, is actually it tells you that you were parried just get the fuck out of there get behind the boss asap get uh, more on the left or right side you know what i mean just get this aura uh you won't regret it it's it's a must have it's a must have for 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 every warrior 
for every melee for when it comes to that even for rogues even for druids even for uh, enhancement shamans for every single melee just get parry haste warning it will help you a lot now over here we have parry dodge miss announcer this is uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, amazing uh, vicara for uh, for uh, tanks uh, so, for example, if you are in a raid, uh, if you parry, if you if your attack got parried, the uh, doors, the if you missed, uh, it will tell, uh, it will send a message to all the raid members. I mean, in raid, <coughs> excuse me, uh, slash raid, uh, that uh, it will send a message to 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 them that uh, that your attacks were parried, dodged, or missed, so that they can. Uh, so that they can lower their DPS, you know what I mean. So, uh, for example, it's a common sense that if you parry, dodge, or miss, you're not making enough threat. You know, not making enough threat results in uh, in uh, threat loss. So, uh, boss will go on someone else. Uh, so, uh, this will automatically tell other people uh, in raid that uh, that uh, they need to uh, lower their 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 attacks uh, or uh, even uh, stop uh, completely if you get what if you get uh, if that makes any sense to you okay so we have a uh, yeah perry haste uh, warning we covered that already now let's see uh, over here uh, true 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 raid mana exactly this is a must have as a healer as a dps and especially as a tank and especially as a raid leader you don't want to be that guy that will pull a, that will pull a boss or a, even a trash pack uh, with uh, average mana of 15 20 percent uh, uh, you you just don't want to do that that that's insta wipe over there you need to carefully monitor your uh, raids mana as a tank uh, uh, you know what i mean uh, you just need to let people drink uh, in, in raid and uh, in every single fight in every single combat uh, on especially on boss you want to start uh, on uh, 95 to 100 percent of uh, average mana that's uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to raid mana uh, really really useful like i said guys these weak are use, uh, useful in uh, both uh, uh, season of discovery and uh, and the classic era uh, then we have uh, oh, okay this is something for Naxxramas uh, right uh, this is uh, yeah this is uh, this is for Naxxramas also we'll get there next we have uh, true, 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 true. let's see stats yeah very simple and uh, nice uh, Vicara for warriors uh, it tells you how many buffs you have uh, uh, if you remember uh, a moment ago we we were talking that our uh, buff limit is uh, 32 right so uh, over here i have uh, three buffs uh, i have a uh, seven hit uh, percent uh, i have a uh, 18.65 uh, crit uh, percent uh, ap stands for attack power and uh, damage 90 because i am in a defensive stance if i change uh, if i change my stance to battle stance or uh, berserker stance it will be 100 percent so it's 100 percent rel reliable uh next uh, i like to <laughs> i like to keep it over here uh match it, it's it looks fine then we have tank announces uh, this is a must have a this is a must have add-on for uh, every every tank not just a warrior uh for uh, for a druid for uh, for a paladin for uh well, I mean, it's is season of discovery. When it comes to season of discovery, this is a must have for every for a shaman. So, uh, what it tells you, for example, uh, let's take for example for for example a warrior. So, uh, I missed a taunt. I missed the AOE taunt. I missed a mocking blow. Uh, it will tell. It will tell that uh, that uh, it will it will send a message in raid that. Uh, I missed all that kind of things, you know, so that people need to do something about it, so that off tank needs to taunt, uh, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, what it also does, for example, if I pop shield uh, wall or last stand, uh, it will it will announce it also in, uh, in, you can adjust it, you can do it in raid warning or you can do just a slash raid, uh, it will announce it, so for example, it goes to that point when I pop... Uh, 
last stand it will exactly tell them how long my last stand will last and how much HP will I lose when my last stand uh, gets uh, uh, gets off you know what I mean it's it's an amazing uh, it's an amazing uh, Vikara over here we have even something more special time to kill uh, trust me when I tell you this week aura is a must have just like uh, every every other one that I listed over here so what is time to kill for example you are a warrior you're a fury warrior you're on a boss uh, you're fighting a boss uh, when do you want to pop recklessness when do you want to pop death wish when do you want to pop blood rage when do you want to pop blood fury when do you want to pop all those juicy uh, uh, cooldowns you know this is this is a perfect cooldown rotator if you want those uh, 99 parses this is a weak aura for you because uh, for example if uh, what this uh, this aura this weak aura does it's like uh, it's it's telling you uh, how long uh, until the boss is dead so for example on 35 seconds you want to pop that wish you want to pop uh, recklessness on uh, approximately 20 25 6 seconds you want to pop blood uh, fury blood rage all that good stuff you know so that you can time them perfectly and get the most of it you know the most benefits of of your of your uh of your uh, damage also for example let's take uh, let's take uh, patchwork uh, from Nextramas. so for example uh, let's say that uh, that uh, kill time on patchwork is uh, four minutes if you have low dps and it tells you four minutes you know what i mean so uh, this week we cover i will uh, tell you over here uh, it's it's four minutes or 3.5 minutes it doesn't matter so you can pop that wish uh at the beginning and you can pop that wish on execute phase below 20 percent you get the idea you know what i mean this is uh, this is how it works it's it's a really really nice one it's 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 amazing it's amazing so what do we have next uh, yeah just like I said so over here that wish uh, blood uh, blood rage recklessness uh, blood fury all that good stuff yeah uh, berserking if you're if you're uh, if you are troll uh yeah so what do we have next over here um yeah a titanius uh, cursor so yeah very very simple vikaura uh, which uh, makes a white circle around your mouse so for example uh yeah just not to get uh, lost you know what i mean if you don't see your cursor this will this will help you this will help you a lot with with, with your cursor so yeah, that's that's what uh, Titanius uh, uh, cursor tracker does. Warrior consumables. This uh, this uh, week aura I made uh, for myself, uh, and I'm gonna share with you. Uh, so it's amazing. It uh, literally has uh, every single uh, consumable. Uh, when it comes to fury warrior and when it comes to fury prot warrior so over here we have mongoos we have spirit on zanza we have flask of the titans uh, we have food we have juju power juju might uh, fire uh, winter uh, winter uh, winter fall uh, fire water <coughs> excuse me uh, spirit of zanza like i said uh, even sharpening stone elemental sharpening stone and uh, and uh, then sharpening stone so they are all clickable you just uh, when when they are not uh, when they are not uh, when you don't have them uh, they are shining they are glowing you know and when you when you press on them they don't glow anymore right so uh, for example uh, we we popped uh, we clicked on uh, elixir of mongoose it will say 60 minutes which means you have 60 minutes on uh, elixir of mongoose how time passes by uh, for example let's say uh, you got it for uh, 30 minutes the week hour i will tell you over there 30 minutes it says so for example uh, if 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 it disappears it will start glowing again you know what i mean but the best thing about it that it's clickable you know it's uh, it's clickable and uh, very very customizable customizable yeah uh, you have everything over there so uh yeah uh next uh, what do we have over here 
Hmm, let me just, uh, let me see. Uh, true, 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 true. Right. Uh, yeah. This is, this is Wind Fury. This is for Wind Fury. An amazing, amazing weak aura for Wind Fury. So if you see an icon like this red, that means you don't have Wind Fury. If, uh, if uh, icon is uh, colored, uh, that means you have a uh, Wind Fury. It also says in group or raid that you are missing Wind Fury. And especially now when a druid... Uh, when druids and uh, shamans, uh, I mean shamans, uh, always had wind fury, but especially now, when uh, when alliance also has uh, wind fury, you know what I mean? Uh, it will be it will be very very useful because this week our attracts everything when it comes to when it comes to wind fury. Uh, there will be no mistake. You will not be you will not be without wind fury uh, with this uh, with this week hour. Uh, okay. Next we have a uh, Zera uh, Battle Shroud Reminder, which is a really really nice Saturn. Okay, so for example, uh, you press uh, Battle Shroud and then you have Battle Shroud for uh, uh, two minutes. Uh, okay, so for example, you are one minute and 45 seconds into the combat, you know, and you didn't press uh, Battle Shroud, but you still has it 15 seconds before uh, Battle Shroud disappears. So like 15 seconds before Battle Shroud disappear, this uh, this uh, icon over here will start to jump, which means that you have to uh, press your uh, Battle Shroud again. Uh, this is just like a Battle Shroud reminder, you know. You need to have uh, you need to have a Battle Shroud up 100% of the time, especially because this is classic era season of discovery. You know, it doesn't last five minutes. It doesn't last uh, one hour. That's that's pretty much it when it comes to Vikauras. So here is a list of add-ons that I use. They are amazing for all versions of the game and they will get you exactly what you want. First one, LVI. LVI is an amazing UI add-on that allows you to do anything with your UI, chat, etc, etc. Literally anything you can imagine, LVI is a solution. 10 out of 10. Second one, Bagnon. Amazing add-on for your inventory. It has a lot of tools. For example, you can check what's in your other character's inventory, what's in your bank while being away from the bank, and uh, the list goes on and on. Out of this mount. Really nice add-on that automatically dismounts you once you enter combat. Ideal for PvP. Atlas loot, of course. Auctionator. Amazing add-on for an auction house. Very user friendly and powerful. Big brain tanking, an amazing add on for tanking. It shouts out when you parry, miss, dodge. It says in raid if you popped last stand or shield wall, etc., etc., etc. A really nice one that every tank should have. Not only warrior. Blizz move. Great add on if you want to move things around. For example, your character panel, your spell book. Anything at all you can. You can also zoom in and zoom out to see better. A must have. Bug Bragger and Bug Sack, they work together and they will get you rid of annoying interface messages that you can't remove no matter how many time you press yes, no or ok. Deadly Boss Modes, everyone knows about DBM. Dija Classic Stats. It will make your stats much easier to read when you open your character panel. Details. A must have add on for everything, not just Zag Zags that wants to see are they top 3 on DPS meter. I'm using details to see, for example, friendly fire, the curses, dispels, who and how died. Just imagine details as a mini Warcraft vlogs website. Grid 2. Amazing ride frame add on. Simple but very, very powerful. 
get the fuck out gtfo get this iron no matter what class you are no matter which expansion you play just get it it will save you from dying from silly things like standing where you are not supposed to stand etc etc it's a game changer item rack also applies for any expansion you play this sudden is amazing helps me a lot to swap my gear if i want to go as a fury pro boom one click and my gear is set if i want to go as a full mitigation one click and there you go if i want to switch flask set boom one click and that's it you get the idea Leatrix maps LFG group bulletin board very nice and customizable add-on for group or raid searching want to get rid of all those spamming messages in LFG and uh, world channels then get LFG group uh, bulletin board makes it so clean method raid tools amazing add-on for raid leaders has a lot to offer Plater, great add-on for nameplates, very adjustable, make those nameplates precisely as you want them to be. Threat Classic 2, get this as a tank, get this as a DPS, get this as a healer. You don't want to be that guy who will be blamed by other people for over aggroing and causing whole right to wipe. It's amazing add-on to hold your gun in your pants. Trinket Menu best add-on when it comes to swapping trinkets putting them in queue my everything must have and vicauras yes one of the most powerful world of warcraft add-ons there is what to say it's just amazing by the way i'll i'll i'll, I'll try to to share some of my vicauras uh, with you guys but uh, thing is uh, i need uh, I need uh, to copy paste them then I need to put them in uh, in notepad and uh, then I need to upload them uh, this won't be a problem but uh, I have so many vicaura so uh, I have to do each uh, each uh, separately you know and uh, don't be surprised uh, when you when you get uh, when you get when you open that notepad you will see uh, hieroglyphs you know what I mean uh, just uh, copy paste it into your vicauras and uh, that's it off you go okay over here we're gonna cover some uh, talents uh, yeah mostly uh, fury pro so very very simple not much philosophy going over there uh, over here I mean <laughs> uh, okay so cruelty uh, 5 out of 5 uh, now uh, booming voice is bad and uh, improved uh, demoralizing shout is uh, really really bad what we want is uh, unbridled wrath uh, gives you a 40% chance to generate an additional rage point when you deal melee damage with uh, with a weapon it, it's actually bad I mean what can I do with uh, one rage point uh, especially when I have 40% chance to generate it uh, it's so bad but we don't have we don't have any other options it's, it's a, what's there is there uh, yeah uh, next uh, we are going with uh, improved battle shot which is uh, really uh, nice uh, it gives us 25% uh, of uh, bonus of uh, our uh, battle shot uh, next we are going in a rage amazing talent uh, 25% uh, melee damage bonus for 12 seconds uh, up for uh, maximum 12 swings after being the victim of uh, critical strike uh, and then we're gonna of course uh, invest 5 out of 5 in a dual will special uh, special uh, dual will specialization sorry guys I'm uh, a little tired uh, then of course that wish over there boom one out of one this is uh, this is a game changer over here when it comes to uh, fury prot warrior that over here is the game changer as well as this flurry increases your attack speed by 30 percent for your uh, next three swings after dealing a melee critical uh, strike and uh, of course we are going for uh, blood thirst uh, 
uh, in protection tree we are going uh, shield specialization uh, 5 out of 5 then we are going for improved blood rage then we are going 3 out of 5 if toughness in toughness sorry uh, last stand 1 one in uh, improved shield block because you only need one you don't need to maximize this talent uh, having one only uh, in uh, in uh, improved shield block is enough uh, uh, it will it will do the job uh, let, let me cut it uh, it, it, it will <laughs> it will do the job so over here we have defiance uh, I mentioned how, how how amazing this talent actually is and uh, we have uh, two points left uh, and uh, we will put them in toughness so uh, we will increase our armor value from items by uh, 10 percent that's uh, that's it when it comes to when it comes to talents let me just uh, yeah put my bloodthirst macro there we are and uh, this is how my UI looks like uh, so over here I have special action bar uh, over here I have uh, all the main action bars up here I have uh, stances this is a uh, this is a warrior hut uh, Vikaura over here I have threat meter 2 and uh, over here I have a uh, details so uh, do I want to see uh, that's uh, friendly fire if I want to see sorry uh, interrupts uh, CC breaks uh, dispels uh, uh, damage on skull and then much much more so uh, my point uh, uh, over here uh, once again is uh, don't use uh, don't be as exact to use uh, uh, details just uh, just to see how much damage you you you, you did uh, just use it for for something else and uh, over here I have a uh, I have another action uh, an, uh, another two action bars sorry uh, yeah uh, here is my uh, vcover for consumables or over here is my chat however uh, what I wanted to say uh, back with uh, LVI so uh, let me let me uh, show you uh, briefly how, how does it looks like so uh, it's 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 a really amazing amazing and uh, game changing add-on. You have everything. Uh, you have a uh, key, key bind mode. Uh, uh, you have uh, I, I mean everything. So for example, this is this is how my this is how my bags looks like. Okay, so if I mouse mouse over click it like this uh, over here, that's 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 what you're gonna see. And uh, over here I have also uh, like this this panel uh mouse over just mouse over so that i don't so that i don't see them uh, uh in game just when i mouse over it uh yeah uh that's uh, that's how it looks like uh, then uh, i i don't know you have you have million of options uh, in lvi to set your ui uh as it uh, as it fits you the best uh, this addon is so powerful and uh the best thing is that you can actually copy paste uh, uh, someone else uh, someone else's uh, UI. For example, uh, you can go on profiles and uh, over here on export, uh, you can uh, you can just uh, you can just export your profile and uh, give it to someone. So uh, if you give it to someone. Uh, uh, you will uh, uh, he will he will have the same UI just uh, just uh, like uh, just like uh, you have for example if I if I copy paste all of this if I copy paste all of this and uh, control C and uh, just uh, give a, a new user a new LVI user uh, this uh, all he has to do is uh, control V in uh, profiles uh, in import and uh, over here import and uh, just uh, uh, 
just simple as that. And here we'll have exact same UI just like I do. Uh, once again, uh, do not take my UI as uh, I must have this, I must have a UI just like this, you know. And uh, there, there's, there's millions of ways to customize it. If you don't like this, if you don't like that, you can you can change everything, literally everything, everything. And uh, also, what I wanted, uh, one more interesting thing about uh, yeah, uh, Blizz Move. So this is this is a Blizz Move add-on. Uh, you can you can play around with it just just how however you want. I mean, uh, it's it's amazing. And uh, yeah, so we can do we can do like this. We can zoom, we can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, just like, uh, just like this, yeah, and uh, yeah. Also, uh, Latrix, uh, Latrix maps. Uh, it's uh, it's really nice add-on because uh, we have these uh, arrows over here, and uh, when it comes to raid, for example, we have uh, uh, you see over here ruins of uh, Ankiraj and the temple of uh, Ankiraj. Uh, when we get, uh, for example, I don't know into into burning steps we have this up arrow over here and we have a uh, black rock mountain 52 uh, to 60 black rock depth uh, uh, lower black rock spare upper black rock spare molten core and uh, black wingler all that kind of stuff hmm. do i have to mention anything else uh, dbm we have a uh, dbm we have you can you can set uh, your dbm uh, just as you like okay so uh, i can this this is how I this is how I put so uh, the most important thing are coming over here and uh, things that are about to come uh, are on on the left side uh, you you get the idea uh, that's how my DBM works uh, item rack so uh, item rack over here I have a uh, fire resistance uh, fury fury proton mitigation okay so for example if I go for fire resistance, uh, I will do. I will get this uh, pure fire resistance gear. If I go for uh, fury prot, I will get the pure fury prot uh, gear. If I go for mitigation, I will go full mitigation gear, and so on and so on. LFG bulleting board. Uh, let me find it. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, uh, okay. So it's too late. Uh, we don't have much spams over here but uh, what this does is actually uh, you can uh, you can you can just remove this uh, for for example you see this uh, lot uh, lot brock guy he's looking for a scarlet monastery you can just remove all these dungeons scarlet monastery shadow fangs keep uh, all those dungeons that uh, that uh, don't interest you you know you, you don't need them anymore you can just remove them for, for so for instance if you want zul group if you want to go over there you can just enable zul group zul group and uh, you see that this guy is uh, okay i thought <laughs> i thought that this is uh, this is a raid so he he's actually selling the boost but uh, you get the idea you know what i mean so uh, you will usually see over here lfm uh, zg uh, blah 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 need one tank uh, need uh, two healers etc uh, etc et so uh, this is uh, this is uh, what uh, what makes uh, LFG looking for a group bulleting board uh, shine instead of uh, instead of uh, there's thousands of message per minute in, in world chat and uh, looking for group also so yeah uh, what else uh, do I, yeah exactly so over here on a bag on uh, for example I can I can show uh, uh, other characters uh, other characters. Uh, uh, inventory, for example, we are on Chromatus now. There is a death demise, a mage, what he has in inventory. Uh, Grom Ghoul, what he has, and uh, we can check bank also over here. from over here. We don't have to be uh, near NPC to to actually check the bank. And uh, yeah, I kind of like it. it. It's 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 like this. Uh, it's like this. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, I, I like. Uh, how can I explain myself? Uh, it's not separated. I like how it is uh, just just now. You know what I mean. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, next, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, uh, profession, guys.
Yeah, well, uh, about professions, uh, I went uh, with uh, engineering and uh, mining uh, on uh, my warrior, and uh, there is no doubt that uh, engineering uh, just rules uh, vanilla slash classic uh, World of Warcraft uh, in both uh, PvE and uh, PvP, uh, especially PvP. I mean, uh, even in PvP. Uh, those uh, these goblin superchargers, they're they're amazing. Uh, iron grenades, uh, thorium grenades, uh, dynamites, uh, uh, trinkets, uh, the shield that you can make from uh, from uh, 300 engineering uh, AOE tanking shield. Uh, I mean uh, that's 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 so powerful. You know all that all that kind of stuff uh, uh, that that you can that you can make with uh, engineering. You know so I, I at some point in in Naxxramas I saw people uh, I saw people doing uh, doing 150 thousand damage just by these utilities, superchargers, dynamites. Uh, and all that, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's uh, it's 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 an it's an amazing it's an amazing uh, profession. Uh, like I said, PvP PVE wise, and uh, yeah, uh, as a secondary profession, I picked up uh, uh, to, 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 to mining uh, just uh, to help me level up uh, my engineering skill also to make some gold and uh, that's pretty much it uh, if you don't like mining uh, then go for skinning uh, or uh, or uh, uh, herbalism just to have some kind of uh, gold income you know what i mean by all means uh, but uh, engineering is uh, uh, definitely the best profession in uh, world of warcraft classic So, uh, when it comes to seasonal discovery professions, uh, that largely depends on what you want out of profession. Engineering is super B for PvE and PvP, but doesn't really make any money, and takes a fair amount of resources and gold to level. Alchemy delivers quite a bit for both PvE and PvP, and can make a fair amount of money since almost nothing you make is bound by the requirements of the profession. That said, there will be no uh, doubt uh, be hordes of uh, alchemy professionals being set up for later phases when we can transmute the uh, Arcanite. Herbing, skinning and uh, mining are all net positive professions for making gold or saving gold for uh, leveling other professions and uh, double gutter like uh, skinning plus uh, herbalism will make a steady uh, gold uh, throughout the phases. A lot of the time, uh, people will take a herb uh, slash mining plus skinning for maximum gold generation out of the gate, uh, often vendoring their skins for silver early on, then dropping skinning after they've purchased a mount to level their primary profession. Blacksmithing, tailoring, and leather working are all decent money makers, as well with specific patterns, but uh, with the addition of what could potentially be. BOP pattern that are added for uh, each phase. We really cannot know the true strength of these professions right now, though we have seen the phase 1 pattern and they are incredibly nice. We don't know where we'll descend uh, up uh, for the end game compared to the powerhouse that is engineering. It's certainly possible we'll find out that engineering plus tailoring uh, letter working uh, slash uh, blacksmithing will become this with additional faces locked uh, patterns. In phase 1 for a new player just starting out I'd learn towards herbalism plus uh, skinning and an emphasis on leveling my secondary profession to take advantage of phase 1 fishing value. Uh, I don't know guys it's just like uh, if you if you if you really want to rank up if you if you want to if you want to PvP if you if you have that passion if you have that fire in yourself uh, by all means go for engineering but uh, it's gonna cost you it's gonna cost you so uh, if I if I if I will do it I will go with uh, with uh, engineering plus uh, herbalism so that uh, at least I have some kind of uh, income you know what I mean uh, 
herbalism or, or, or skinning. Uh, so engineering uh, uh, herbalism slash skinning uh, doesn't really matter. But uh, blacksmithing is uh, is really powerful, and uh, at uh, each phase uh, you're getting uh, epic uh, epic patterns. You know, uh, just like uh, the chest in in phase one, a uh, leather working also gloves and uh, and whatnot. So uh, uh, blacksmithing, tailoring, and leather working uh, will be definitely uh, best professions uh, over there. Uh, but uh, the engineering will still be. Uh, uh, top G for uh, for uh, PvP and uh, PV as well. Uh, yeah, so that's my opinion when it comes to season of discovery uh, professions. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, future will tell. Anyways, uh, it's been one hour long uh, guide. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if I if I made some kind of a mistake, uh, just uh, post down in comment below. Uh, please uh, give me some feedback uh, so that I can correct myself. Uh, I'm I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm I'm too far away from that. Uh, there is a lot of things that I still have no idea about. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I would really appreciate uh, feedbacks. So. Uh, you know, if I if I if I said something wrong, uh, I I didn't do that on purpose. I just uh, didn't know. I just didn't know uh, how how it is. So uh, yeah, feedbacks uh, will be really really appreciated. And uh, also, if you if you learn something, if you if you if you got better by uh, by watching this guide, uh, please consider subscribing, uh, sharing the video, and. Uh, uh, commenting down below that's uh, that's all and uh, yeah i'll catch you some other time all the best cheers cheers cheers